Now we can create realistic images for our projects with AI, but can we create a walkthrough animation too? I want to try and see if it's possible to create a short animation for a project using stable diffusion, because I feel like the whole visualization industry is moving more towards animations, interactive views, or VR presentations. So let's see if we can create a simple walkthrough view for a house project. Generative AI models are more limited to 2D static images at the moment, but developments for 3D and videos are moving super fast. There are already a couple of great tools that you can use to transform an image into a short animation version like this, but it is not quite yet possible to achieve what I want to create here. So I will follow up a more manual method with ControlNet. All of the resources are available in the link in the video description. I will use this conceptual 3D model for this project. First, I need to decide the path I want to move on. I imagine a scenario as starting somewhere here with an exterior view and moving slowly to the entrance, turning around the kitchen island and finishing with the living room and the view outside. There is an animation command directly inside Rhino 2, but I will use the Horster camera plugin in Grasshopper for better control. Once I draw the path curve I want to move on, I will divide the curve by the number of the frames I want to create. I will use one of the points as camera location on each frame and for the camera target I set up the next point on the curve so we will always look to the next point on our path. You can change the camera lens length here and when you change this value to true it will be activated. Once I like the settings I right click here, click on animation and here I enter the image size and the number of frames as 60 so I can create at least 4-5 seconds of animation. If you go less than 15 frames per second probably Probably it won't be so smooth. By default it names the frames as frame 0, frame 1 and so on, but for some reason I get an error in the control net with this format. I tried to use simply 0, 1 and 2 and it worked, so you can name them like that just not to have an, any issue like I did. Basically the workflow I will use is that I will use each of the frames as an input for control net and generate images using the same prompt and settings overall so the generated images can be similar to each other for a smooth animation. I will use automatic 1111 11 user interface for stable diffusion with epic realism checkpoint. If you don't have them installed, I will link all the necessary tutorials and the materials in the resources. Before starting the batch process, I tested out some prompts and settings with the first and the last frames of the animation. I just wanted to make sure I like the images with the overall settings and the text description. This step is important because you don't want to realize that some of the settings were wrong after waiting a couple of hours for all the generations. Our scene starts with the exterior view but ends with an interior one. So we see many different elements, materials and the parts of the house. I didn't want to describe specific elements that are visible only in some of the frames in the text input. Rather, I use the more general description. Once everything looks ok, we need the address of the file where the base images are located. Go to that file and right click on the top bar, choose copy address as text and paste it into this box under the control net tab. I have used both depth and soft edge modes for control net for more accurate images. I decided to generate them as 768 by 768 instead of 1024 to reduce the generation time and then I hit generate for 60 frames. With my RTX 3060 laptop it took around 3 hours to finish all of them. Most of them are actually better than I was expecting in terms of accuracy, especially the first ones. But when you get close to the entrance there were a couple of problematic frames. I don't know why but it generated everything as glass walls. When the generations are done, all of our frames are in the outputs folder under the stable diffusion files. I decided to remove some of the frames because they were totally different than other ones and I quickly photoshop a couple of them to fix some problematic parts. And lastly, we need to put all of them together to create a video. You can find online websites to do this step. I will link one of them in the resources. I have used Adobe Premiere Pro to merge them. I chose all of them to reduce their 
duration to one second and simply move them to the timeline and as you can see now when you play it becomes a animation it was a bit too fast so i merged them and reduced their speed a bit and here is the final version i think you can easily feel the overall volume and the movement but of course it is almost impossible to keep all the materials the same in each frame what do you think about the results please let me know in the comments below you can find all the resources including the 3d model base images and settings i have used in the link in the video description later i created another one like 360 views around the same project i followed the same process to generate the base frames as the first one here is the final version i think this one was less accurate in terms of materials and the overall vibe of the project but what i like in the second one is that it placed the project in many different locations and environments like an empty land or forest as the first one and as water from next to a lake directly in the middle of water snowy or in the middle of the sand like in desert i think depending on the complexity of the base images and the amount of movement it could be possible to generate more smooth videos i want to try to create animation with the available image to video tools they may create more accurate results with minimal movements in the next video i will share which platforms you can use and compare the results between different ones i hope you like this video please let me know what you think about this workflow thank you for watching till now and see you in the next one